In this video, we're going to create a GPT called Fuel My Fitness. This is going to be the best meal plan GPT along with the exercise routine. So we're going to go through from scratch and create and provide custom instructions. So we'll walk through naming it. We'll walk through adding uh, the profile picture, the description, and we'll also go through uh, adding these custom instructions. So this GPT is going to have very uh, research-based instructions that it will initiate a conversation with the user and the knowledge base is also going to be published resources from uh, USDA, American Society of Nutrition, Nutrition.gov and really great research papers that will combine uh, with this GPT to provide the best uh, responses for the prompts and it's going to be very specific to the individual, whether you're looking to build muscle, lose fat, or boost in endurance, fuel my fitness, crafts, meal plans that is tailored just for you. So you interact with the GPT and it will provide you a tailored meal plan that will be specific to you and your needs. You just provide a few details like your age, weight, and workouts you love. And then voila, it's going to create a proper meal plan for you to make sure it's meeting your goals. So as a preview, you can see I said I want to gain five pounds of muscle. So the Fuel My Fitness GPT is going to go ahead and welcome you. And then it's going to ask you uh, follow up questions. And then it's going to create a meal plan that's specific to you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I'm in my chat.openai.com main page GPTs. Um, I guess there are several ways now to create GPTs. You can go to your username, create your GPT. You can come and click on the explore GPT section and then click on my GPTs to create one. Or you can just come on the top right hand corner and then click on create. And it's going to bring you directly to this tab. So we're not going to go to the create. We're actually going to go directly to the configure tab because we want to customize this. So we're going to start by naming it. So I'm going to go ahead and say fuel my fitness. All right. And now we'll give it a description. All right. So we said the best fitness meal plan GPT syncs diet with workout for optimal results based on published research. All right. Now we'll add a profile picture. I already have a profile picture that I can upload. So I'm just going to upload it from my computer. There you go. All right. That's done. Now let's go on the instruction section. So I'm going to type everything out and then we'll come back and go through the sections. All right. So just briefly, we're not going to go over all of this because this is it took me a long time for me to come up with this and write every single aspect of this. But just a quick overview so that we you understand what's in these instructions. So GPT is going to start through the introduction process. Uh, so when the user initiates interaction, they're going to greet them and then explain the service briefly because that's very important, right? So we need to be able to make sure that the GPT is proper, properly explains what it does. So that way the users have a better idea of how to, how to interact with it. And then when the next step, what we're going to do is create a user profile. Uh, so it's going to prompt the user to ask them some basic questions like their age, gender, weight, height, and dietary restrictions. And then based on that, it's going to store that information and then find the fitness routine overview in the next and then whatever the nutrition goal setting is. And then what it's going to do is go through and have all of that information and create a meal plan for them that's specific to them. And then it's going to have an interactive feedback, meaning that once they pres the GPT presents the initial plan, it's going to ask the users for a feedback on proposed meals. So it's going to say, hey, here's a meal plan. How do you feel about this? Right. And then based on whatever the interaction is, the GPT is going to be able to adjust the phase here and then also provide the advice as well. And then at the end, it'll do final review and confirmation. So this GPT is very interactive with the user because it wants to make sure exactly it, under, it wants to make sure it understands exactly what the user wants and what their goals are. And then based on that, it's going to create that uh, specific meal plan for them. And then it'll also do continued support and check-ins. So that way it will offer, hey, come back, check-in to make sure that as time goes by, you're updating the GPT because that way it'll tailor to you specifically. And then at the end, it's going to provide a conclusion of the introduction, uh, interaction. And then it's going to say, hey, I can email you this meal plan or you can save it directly, whichever you would prefer. And then obviously at the end, it's going to have a feedback collection where, um, you know, it wants to make sure that if there's any improvements that the user suggests, they can provide and we'll incorporate that. So this is the instruction that we provided. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload a bunch of PDFs in the knowledge base here. So the knowledge base, I spent quite a bit of time researching and making sure uh, that I find 
relevant resources. And again, these are publicly available free resources that I input in this GPT. So that way there's no uh, copyright violation. But uh, these are from very well known resources like nutrition.gov, American Society of Nutrition, USDA Nutrition Education, Nutrition Society. So very reputable resources that are specific to diet and exercise and the meal plan that's associated with it. So now we're updating the knowledge base to make sure that GP, this GPT is very unique um, and it's not just relying on web browsing alone because we want to make sure it provides the right uh, advice and make sure that the resources that it's using is from a well-known uh, entity. And now I'm going to actually start putting together a conversation starter. So the first one is I want to gain muscle mass. Second one, I'm going to say, I want to lose 10 pounds of fat in three months. Again, these are just suggested conversation starters. And this will give the user a good idea to start somewhere or ask the right type of uh, questions from the GPT or put the right types of prompts. Okay, so now let's test this out, actually. All right, so let's click on I want to get muscle mass. Oh, before we do that, by the way, actually on the um, instruction, I also updated a final instruction that said, use the knowledge base resource here that we have not just web browsing so let's go ahead and test this out all right so it looks like it's working um exactly like what we told it in the introduction section so when the user initiates the conversation it's going to ask for a user profile which is exactly what it did and then we can move on this the rest of it and then provide additional information and it will curate a meal plan that's specific to me based on the information that i provided i'm not going to go through the whole process because otherwise it's going to take a while but feel free to interact with it and let me know what you guys think because this in my opinion i've done a lot of research on building this thing and if it has i've tested it before and it's actually a very well made gpt because it does really work and gives really customized meal plans based on whatever um, you provide to them and and again it has to do a lot with the interaction so you could really personalize this and really play around with it and and it will give you a very personalized meal plan based on whatever goal you have whether that's gaining muscle mass whether that's losing fat whether it's just having a diet um, diet and exercise plan that's healthy that benefits you so it's like a very comprehensive gpt so let's go ahead and publish this so that way you can use it so i'm going to click on save and I'm going to say everyone. So it's going to say Fuel My Fitness by GPT Workshop. And the category, actually, it's, I don't know why it says per activity. It's lifestyle. So I'm going to select that. Click on confirm. All right. So it looks like it's published. Um, I'm going to go ahead and provide the link for this particular GPT on the description below on the video. Or you can actually go ahead and uh, see on the GPT store. So let's search for it. So I'm going to come here and search for Fuel my fitness all right there you go cool i hope you found this helpful thanks for watching